Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us on PBR.com as well as CBSSportsNetwork.com alongside nine-time world champion Ty Murray. I'm Craig Hummer. We are wrapping up stop number 11, Ty, Glendale, Arizona, over a third of the way through the season. And it's an understatement, I think, to say Silvano Alves has caught fire. Yeah, and, you know, he's just building up steam. And the, the thing about watching him week in and week out is it doesn't matter the type of bull. Mm -hmm. and, and that, you know, that's what makes him a world champion, and that's what makes him, you know, the odds on maybe favorite again this year is it doesn't matter what he draws. It doesn't matter if it's a draft or a draw round. He can adjust himself to fit every single kind of bull, and I think he does that maybe as well as anybody I've ever seen. Doesn't care which mm -hmm. direction, mm -hmm. doesn't care what size, doesn't care if they're strong, you know, whip you to the outside, drop you to the inside. None of that matters to him. They all, it's, it's like to him, they all feel the same. And, and that just continues to impress me every single time I get a chance to watch him. So early on in the season, you, Justin McBride, J.W. Hart, myself, we all questioned his style a little bit and where that had him in the sand standings. Is it, is it time to throw that out the window? Do we now take Silvano at his word? I've never questioned his style. I, you know, I've questioned his, his, his approach to competition. Mm -hmm. and, you see him turn down a lot of rewrites. To me, he's just leaving a lot of money on the table okay. because nobody rides better than he does. And you see other guys, you know, building up ahead of steam. He feels like he can do it all year long. And he doesn't, if he's 72, he, that's fine with him. He doesn't care. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want the rewrite. He just feels like he wants to get a score every time he gets on a bull. You know, that strategy worked last year. There's a good chance that strategy can work this year. It just feels to me like when you're the best bull rider in the world, Go for it. Go for it every time. <laughs> and, and that's just the mentality that, that I always had. And I, and I think, you know, Justin mm -hmm. McBride always mm -hmm. had. A lot of guys have always had that mentality. We might be seeing the dawn of a new era. The thing of it is, is when this guy catches fire, you see him just go marching right up the, right up the standings. One of the guys that I think you've never questioned has that go for it attitude is J.B. Mooney, our current world number one. But that go for it attitude isn't paying off at the moment. He has seen, seen his lead dwindle the past well, couple weeks. Well, again, I, I think we're getting, you know, the mechanics of riding and the strategy of the competition confused. Okay. You know, I, I still like JB's strategy. Mm -hmm. I still like the way he goes at it. The problem is, is his riding is suffering right now. You know, he's not riding up to par. If he can get his consistency the same as Silvano's, to me, JB's strategy wins. But that's the big question, is you've got to be able to have the mechanics and the style to be able to make it work every time. And it's a long season, trust me. And you're right, to match that consistency, which is what JB had been doing until a few events ago. Let's talk about the Bulls specifically first this weekend here in Glendale. We saw a Built Ford Tough Championship round where nine of the 10 Bulls we're going to see next week in our 15-15 bucking battle. Well, and it showed up. I mean, mm -hmm. we saw it. We saw a lot of zeros tonight. <laughs> you know, other than Caleb Sanderson and Silvano Alves, we saw a lot of ranked Bulls, and I think that's just a preview of what's to come. The thing, you, the thing you've got to remember in the 15-15 bucking challenge is it's not only the 15 best bulls, mm -hmm. but it's the 15 very best guys in the world. And that's where the game changes a little. And we'll see that next week on CBS Sports. Before we go, one final question to you. How impressed are you with Marco Agushi? This guy is really good, you know, and we see just a few hiccups here and there. But all in all, I think this guy is just picking up momentum, and he reminds me of Silvano, and mm -hmm. you don't see him panic. You don't see him making these big moves and, and just getting lucky by these big moves. He's a very calculated rider that knows where he needs to be, and he just calmly keeps putting himself into that position. Silvano Alves goes back to back, the first time we've seen that since Valderon. Last year, the Cowboys, they get to stay in the Southwest this week. We'll be in Albuquerque, your neck of the woods next week, Ty, for the Ty Murray Invitational. We hope you join us.